2016 Yamaha XSR900. Uh, the short and sweet of it, take an FZ09, put some Neo Retro styling on it, give it some better suspension, add traction control, you got a new motorcycle. That's basically what the XSR is. In comparison to its uh, prequel, the FZ, yes, it does have a better suspension setup, much sportier where the FZ was very marshmallowy. This guy has a lot better type of suspension for you know being a more aggressive rider, uh, which is good because this thing loves to loft the front end. I mean, I think even maybe more so than the FZ09 does. So some of the other differences between this and the FZ, uh, the headlight and the cell up here, you've got this nice little kind of 1980s Atari looking uh, single round uh, instrument cluster up here. Uh, it has a ton of information. It's, it's pretty packed, but it's still pretty legible. It's not any problem. You know, even for the first time riding the bike, I could make out everything. It's got a clock, got your TC, got your ride mode. Same with the back tail light. You know, it's got the round version LED back here. Pretty cool. Sticks with the styling, 70s, 80s styling. Uh, suspension wise, you've got preload adjustability on the front with a rebound. Same thing in the shock, you got preload and rebound adjustment. For the electronics package, the difference is going to be traction control. You've got a TC1 and TC2, and you can turn it off. Uh, the bike has to be stopped to adjust that. Uh, TC1 is actually really cool. It still allows you to pick up the front end, do a nice wheelie. It's not going to like bring you back down to earth. So you actually could still flip this bike if you wanted to. TC2, you know, much more intrusive. It's going to you know keep everything more level. Power and gearing, I suppose, is just just so much fun. So for an urban bike around town, if you're just looking to like rap rap stoplight to stoplight, you're gonna have a blast on this thing. And the suspension is gonna be better able to soak it up. The measurements of the bike, the wheelbase, the rake and trail, uh, exactly the same as the FZ09. This bike's a little heavier than the FZ09. There's some aluminum pieces on it. You got an aluminum headlight bracket up here, uh, aluminum rear fender. Uh, on the standard model, you have some brushed aluminum fuel plates up here. Other than that, I mean, it's only, I think they said four kilos, so we're not talking a bunch of weight. The styling obviously is different. You know, this comes in the 60th anniversary painted edition, and you've got the standard model that's, I think, $700 or so less, and it's the silver model. It's got the two-tone seat it does not have the uh, yellow shock spring and it does not have the anodized forks but it's you know it's a little bit more low-key so if you like that sort of downplayed you know style I think it's really cool it went with my uh, helmet really well and my you know neo retro jacket that RSD jacket I'm wearing handling's about the same really uh, we did some riding out in the twisties around San Diego County today uh, so in that what I would mean is still transitions really nicely and it's fun to ride uh, the front end still really light. Now that they say that the uh, the rear to four uh, weight balance is the same as the FZ, but the riding position actually leans you a little bit farther forward, putting a little bit more weight on the front end. Does it matter a whole lot? Mm, I can't say that it does. You know, you come out of a corner, you get on the gas aggressive, the front end's going to get a little wiggly. You know, it'll still pick up the front, you know, the front wheel coming out of a corner. So. Those are all aspects, actually, I enjoyed the FZ and I still enjoy it on this bike. You know, it's just a hoot to ride. And largely that comes from using the same engine as well. You know, this three cylinder 847cc triple is just so much fun. And a lot of it also is the light weight of the bike. Like I said, it's only four kilos more than the FZ. So, you know, it's really still a light, lightweight motorcycle for, you know, basically a 900cc bike. Yamaha did have on display here, some nice aftermarket accessories. They had these, you know, uh, like low clubman type bars up here that, you know, really push into a cafe racer, you know, seating position if you like that. Uh, it, it was comfortable to sit on. I'm not sure what it's like to ride or how much time I'd want to spend on it. They got a nice, uh, like, solo saddle setup that you can get for it and I think there's going to be a bunch of other stuff too so you know you can check that on their catalog or on the website. I know that these are in dealerships right now so they're available. Uh, Yamaha mentioned something about being a part of the corporate uh, test ride fleet so even if your local dealer doesn't have one there should be some events in your area that you could get down and take a spin on this guy. I would definitely recommend it because if you say were a fan of the FZ but didn't like its styling and like this type of you know look this old 70s 80s look you know it's uh it's a cool bike for the money